afternoon, YouTube. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And this is the Clay Wave. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, sharing it, sharing it on them Sprinter blogs and all that stuff, giving me them big old thumbs up and sending me your nice comments. If you've got a question for me about your vehicle and it's automobile related, you can hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I happily try to answer them for absolutely free for my subscribers. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. Now today, we're gonna to be removing the fan blade and the shroud out of a 2013 Mercedes Sprinter with the 3.0 diesel, just like this 2008 Dodge Sprinter has with the 3.0 diesel. There's a couple little differences, but for the most part, removal procedure is the same. And I just wanted to show you guys, the only difference gonna be like there's a connector here and a wire loom for your fan blade clutch that the older model Dodge Sprinters do not have, so that'll be less work for you. Now moving to the hood of the vehicle, we're gonna release the positive terminal, and there's a little pushy down here on the bottom. Push that towards the passenger side, raise it up, and it will release. Now we're gonna remove the two electrical connectors on the top of the air box, simply by pushing in the back, Pushing the clip back and pulling the sensor plug off. And then doing the same over here, pushing down on these two and pulling back on the connector. Now taking a flathead screwdriver, we're gonna loosen the clamp to remove the snorkel inlet tube. Taking one hand, and pulling this tube out, it will release from down there. Then next, we will raise up on the air box, unsecuring it from the rubber mounts and pulling it back towards us to slip it off of the brackets back there. Pulling back on the fan shroud radiator condenser cover, we're able to move it out of the way. If you don't replace this part after the completion of the job, it will make your air conditioning function improperly. Now we're gonna remove the coolant overflow hose. Now using an E10 or an eight millimeter, we will go down and remove these two bolts. There's what seems to be like 10 to 15 different ways to remove a fan clutch off of a vehicle and there's only one way that i've done it that it has absolutely never failed me one of the methods is this is what's called a lyle kit and i'm going to give you the part number just in case you guys want it good folks make good tools not going to use that push that back to my kid's toy box the fan clutch nut is actually 36 millimeters not going to use it once again to the toy box this not going to use that garbage not going to use this garbage. And there's one other method that I actually like. It's my second favorite. You can take a pipe wrench and a crescent wrench because a crescent wrench will get up to 36 millimeters to hold on to the nut. And you can hold the base of it. But the way that I do it only takes 10 seconds. It takes me less time than it did to explain all this to you. Is I'm going to take a pick bit on the end of my air hammer. I'm going to drive that sucker off there. You watch. To remove the fan, we're going to go clockwise because the fins are pointed out like this and they scoop up the air and throw it this way. If the fins were pointed the other way, like this direction, then we would know the fan came off in a counterclockwise rotation or a regular thread. In this situation, it is reverse thread. this at the same time so you guys can see it. Sweet. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. We do not totally need to unhook the fan. We just need to be able to unscrew it and move it to the top of the engine. Now reaching down along the side of here, we're gonna release the fan shroud. We put our finger right there. We push up on that and with our other two fingers, we're gonna pull up on the fan shroud, pulling it out of the way to release it. And then it'll do that. 
And then we'll do the exact same procedure on the opposite side. Now that we have that loose, we can lift up our fan blade at the same time as we lift up our fan shroud, and then we'll be able to pull our fan shroud out of the way. First, we will take the fan shroud and move it up on the passenger side. Once we've got the fan shroud notch over the top of our coolant reservoir hose, we can start working on the driver's side. All right, so we've got this side up. Now we need to move it to the passenger side and get it around our hose, which with the fan in the way, it's a little bit difficult, but it's possible because I've done it before. Just takes a little bit of time. Now I can take my fan and I can put it over my engine assembly because it's not unhooked. And once again, we will work our passenger side over and pull our fan shroud out. Somehow I cut off where we actually unplugged the electrical connector on the stinking fan clutch itself. But if you've got this far, I'm sure you can take the electrical connector off so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video you found it super informative you'll consider subscribing clicking the notifications sharing my videos and sending me them sweet old thumbs up remember don't be the next of them be the first of you and if anyone else can do it you can do it too